What's up guys? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I'll be walking you through the process of making these tapestry pants um, with these velvet pockets. Now, I didn't record the process of me making these velvet pockets, velvet pockets, because it was just way too annoying to figure it out. This fabric is difficult to work with as far as like making it into a pocket. It's very loose, it, just annoying. So the process of like me making the pockets, I didn't record it, but I will leave the link that I followed the process, like how to install the pockets. I will leave that link in the description below. So yeah, if you want to see me wearing these pants, please feel free to go to my Instagram. It'll be right here on the screen. And yeah, these are one of one. They will be available on my website as of seeing this video. So yeah, if you're interested in getting any custom made or any item made, please feel free to email me, DM me on Instagram or comment on this video. So I think that's it. So yeah, I think that's it. Everything, like I said, will be linked in the description below. Instagram, website, everything like that. And yeah, let's get into the video. So for this project, I'll be using this um, thick red and gray blanket, tapestry blanket. Now I do not recommend this for beginners because you could break a lot of needles with this and that could be very dangerous. So I do recommend a thinner um, tapestry when you're starting off. Now right here, I'm showing you guys my pattern. I have a large pattern that I will be using. I was gonna initially go with this orange satin um, for the pockets, but I ended up changing it. Right here, I'm just laying out my pattern weighing everything down with these washers that I, I got these off Amazon and going over my pattern with a dark marker. Now, some people don't agree with this, but at the end of the day, it will wash off. So make sure you be, you are able to see you out, the outline of your um, pattern. So yeah, you wanna take that image, you wanna flip it. Now I'm doing this for the front and the back. So you wanna do this for the front panel and the back panel. So yeah, right here I'm showing you that I didn't have enough room for the um, each panel. So this could be very, very dangerous in this situation because this could mess up the whole way your um, item fits you in the long run. So you wanna make sure you have enough fabric. I know how to work around this now. So, but yeah, as a beginner, you wanna make sure you have enough fabric. So here I'm just cutting everything out, all the leg panels. And then I decided to go with this red um, velvet material for the pockets. And you want to do the same thing with as you do with the pants leg. You want to take your panel, you want to take your pattern, I mean, and you want to trace it over, and then you want to take that same image and you want to flip it. Now, I should have known right here from the start that this is going to be annoying because the way it's folding up and all that other stuff while I'm trying to trace it on there, it was annoying just to draw the pattern on there. So you want to take that, like I said, and you want to reverse it for the pockets as well so it can make everything easy and seamless so yeah so now you just want to cut out your um, pieces for your pocket you should have four because I do recommend using a rotary cutter at this point you should have four pocket pieces two back pieces two front pieces and one um, waistband piece So for this project, I will be using sewing clips and a heavy duty sewing needle. Now, like I told y'all, I broke a lot of needles in the past, so I do recommend these. These are my first time using these sewing needles and I highly recommend them. So I'm just taking the two back panels, putting them right sides facing each other and clipping at the crotch area. You wanna do this for the front and the back of the um, pants. So after you clipped everything or pinned everything up, you want to sew at a half an inch. Now you want to start off your sewing with a back stitch so you can lock in the stitch and then go forward after that. So at this point, it will be time for do the, to do the pockets, but like I said, I didn't show you guys that because it was very, very, very annoying. So I will have that video linked down below. And after this, you want to take your front and your back um, pieces and you want to line them up putting them right sides together and lining them up lining them up at the crotch area pinning and clipping everything along both legs and this is how it should look once you clip both legs up in the crotch area and you want to sew this at a half inch all, all across. 
Now at this point, you are ready to pin and sew the sides. So just clip everything up with the pockets down, tack everything down and line everything up and you wanna sew this at a half an inch as well. So after this, you want to take your waistband piece and you want to flip it and turn it right sides facing each other and you want to clip the end and you want to sew at a half inch um, all across that side piece. Okay, so once you do that, you want to clip off that excess fabric. Um, you don't have to, but that just makes everything way easier. But you want to take your pants and you want to turn them right side out. And you want to take your waistband and you want to turn that inside out. So you want to line it up at the top um, of your pants, like I'm showing you here. And you want to line that top edge of the pants up with the edge with the top edge of the um, waistband, you want to clip that all around and you want to sew at a half of inch, half of an inch, my bad. Now you will have to, you know, maneuver some things around. It may not seem like it's going to fit, but you will have to make sure you maneuver some things around to make that actually line up perfectly. It ain't going to be the easiest. I'm letting y'all know right now. This is probably the most annoying part, trying to line everything up with this top edge of this um, waistband and pants. So once you pin everything, you want to sew at a half an inch. Now, I didn't go through the whole process of doing these waistbands because I did multiple videos, multiple videos on them. So I will leave those links in the description. And after that, you're done. So, yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. This is literally the same process as making shorts. So it's just longer. And I add a jawstring to it, but I didn't show it in the video. I'm sorry. Uh, if you want to see that video, I'll put it in a, um, just let me know if you want to see that video. I'll make another video about me installing jawstrings. It's very, very easy. But, um, yeah, let me see. Um, I will be making more videos like this. So if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, please subscribe to the channel. Next year, I will be diving more into like women's clothing, skirts, dresses, and stuff like that. I am waiting on my um, sewing mannequin to get here. So yeah, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. See you guys in the next one. Peace.